Yo, what's up guys, the Jordan here, back again with another Shadowverse pre-built deck review. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Blood deck, Crimson Pack. So this is the Wave 2 pre-built deck from Shadowverse. Uh, so as always, I'm going to be talking about the Golden and Legendaries mainly, because as a new or casual player, you probably have most of the Bronze and Silver cards and you're mainly looking at the gold and legendaries to see if there's any value in getting it. So, with this deck, with Crimson's pack, the animated alternate art card that, you, that you'll be getting is Belfiger. So Belfiger is a pretty solid legendary for blood. Um, she saw a lot of play in last format when Vengeance Blood was like really good. However, she, she's been seeing less play. You don't really play her in neutral blood because you have cards like Big Knuckle Bodyguard, which just does what you want to be doing with a deck. And um, neutral blood right now, you don't really want to be in Vengeance because you want to have that extra life so you can set up like, your spawn the abyss and stuff. So Belfigur's been seeing less play, although um, I guess we'll be getting the balance changes announced soon. So. Maybe if blood gets nerfed, like neutral blood gets nerfed a lot, people might be going to control blood or some kind of vengeance blood, and then Belfigur sees more play again. But overall, she's a solid card at, on her own. Um, I probably get this deck just so I could get an anime of Belfigur because I already have two, so I just want to complete the playset there. Um, so I have this Belfigur. The other legendary you gain is Maelstrom Serpent. He's Maelstrom Serpent saw a lot of play when it first came out in Tempest of the Gods, um, a lot of people were spamming the snakes because you just activate Vengeance either through Belfigur or with your Blood Moon and then you play a Maelstrom Serpent, either you might have got it off of the Baphomet, so this was like the old spawn of the, spawn of the Abyss and then you just play and get like 4 snakes, so um, pretty powerful, it's a powerful card. Uh, seeing a lot less play recently, maybe just like Belfigur, it's kind of conditional, maybe it picks up some more play later on, maybe people start playing it in control or something like that as a finisher. So, Maelstrom Serpent, I do think it gets, um, it's slightly, it's less powerful than Spawn of the Abyss, so unless Spawn of the Abyss becomes uh, nerfed to the ground, um, I, I'm pretty sure people will be choosing that over the Serpent. Uh, for the Golden cards, you will get a... Garletto, Devil of Love. This card really doesn't see much play. Um, you just have better two drop options. Uh, yeah, I mean his effect is it's, it's got a decent effect. However, it's because of his stat line, it's just not ever really going to be useful, unless you're in a position where your board's strong enough and your opponent can't deal with it anyways. Um, so this ignite, it's a kind of like a tech card. Doesn't see as much play, although once in a while it will run into someone that is playing this card as kind of like a removal. Um, so yeah, Sadistic Knight. Get Blood Moon. Blood Moon's pretty much only played in kind of control bloods. If you want to go for a Vengeance control blood style deck, you can play Blood Moon. It does combo well with cards like your Belfigur, your Serpent, your Maelstrom Serpents, um, just your other Vengeance conditional cards. It's a, so it's a decent pickup. If you want to be playing that kind of deck, yeah, Mastema. Uh, this card kind of feels kind of random because it doesn't really suit. It doesn't see much play. I I think some people have tried playing it in mid range blood in older formats, but uh, yeah, it's, this card doesn't really see much play. It's got really good stat line, forces your opponent to deal with it, especially if you just drop it on turn five, because um, that way you're be you're able to pressure your opponent's health total and then. Um, it's early enough in the game where they can't just uh, annoy it, ignore it. So, it's an okay card, not seeing that much play. So Dominator is pretty decent. Um, I do see people choose between Alucard or So Dominator. Both has their own uh, positives, pro, pros and cons. So it is kind of like a preference card. Although I do, I am seeing more people choosing Alucard just because it got the extra. You could gain extra health, which could be much more relevant than the plus extra 2 health on So Dominator and the gaining attack effect. But yeah, it's a decent card. Um, other than that, you get like Hungering Hordes, Baphomet, like you should already have these Dark Air Jammers. Um, so overall, compared to the other 
decks that I recently reviewed, so the Dragon one and the Shadowcraft one, I don't think the Blood has as good of a value as the others. So if you're looking to pick up pre-built decks, I wouldn't recommend picking up Crimson Pact unless you really want to play Blood. Then you could, I guess you could pick this up. Though I don't think it's that great compared compared to the other pre-built decks I reviewed. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well as checking, checking me out on my social media links down below in the description. And I'll play a game of this so you guys can see how it runs. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Peace. Alright, so already's all back. Try to find something to do earlier. Which we picked up. Nice. Spider web imp. Pretty good card to play on turn two. It challenges all the other two drops. Hmm. So we have Baphomet. We can. I think the Baphomet will pull the Serpent Oni. Yeah, if I recall correctly. So we could try to Baphomet on five. We could play Blood Moon. On like three or four, we play Baphomet on five, and we start it on six. Could be a, could be a way of winning. Hmm. You set the Blood Moon this turn. I don't have a strong four play against the Cinderella. That's a, that's a problem. Double two drops, so that's not bad. Ball the spider web in. Because it's ward, so my opponent has to attack into it. So you get some extra chip damage into a faller. Uh, I don't think I could bat from M5, but that's way too optimistic. <laughs> you messed up the Cinderella. I see a lot of people do that, it's pretty funny actually. I wonder if I can bat them on 5 now that I can go Serpent. Is he training to yours or going face? Going face. I mean, Alright, so we could Dark Air Jammer, would be pretty strong. But if we bat them it now, we play Serpent, and then we could still evolve the Serpent. So I think that's just more of a winning play. My opponent can't deal with like four snakes. Mm. Actually, now we can't really serpent. We can't deal with that board. Go mass. Mask and dark general. <laughs> this Yuri's value. Okay. Do we just go Serpent here? Like, that 4 damage. He needs 6 damage from his hand to kill me. I think we go serpent. It's the winning lines.
one turn too short on I'm killing off these serpents. Got a lot of bane effects. Can't kill him now. What does the stolen life do? Wait, is that give, give three damage to enemy faller then give plus three plus three? So that that, that that's actually lethal. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> Sick. Stolen life for the game. I saw